So here's where we stand tonight. Unless Democrats decide to call more witnesses, members of the House Intelligence Committee will work up a report. It'll include everything they've heard from the people that we've seen over the last two weeks. This report will then go to the House Judiciary Committee for review. That committee is the only one with the power to draw up articles of impeachment. Now, if the committee decides to move forward, the full House would vote whether to impeach the president. Today's witnesses say that U.S. policy appeared to be very personal for the president. Raise your right hand. I will begin by... For what could be the last time in the Intelligence Committee's impeachment inquiry hearings, two career diplomats step forward to piece together what happened in Ukraine and what did not. Fiona Hill, President Trump's former top Russia expert, forcefully discrediting a Republican conspiracy theory that Ukraine, not Russia, interfered during the 2016 election. This is a fictional narrative that has been perpetrated and propagated by the Russian security services themselves. That narrative is part of what President Trump wanted Ukraine to investigate, along with Joe Biden and his son. Today, State Department official David Holmes testifying he actually heard the president say what he wanted, recalling how he overheard a phone call between President Trump and his European Union ambassador, Gordon Sondland. It was quite loud uh, when the president came on, quite distinctive. Holmes says he could hear President Trump asking whether Ukraine's president would announce the investigations. He said, oh yeah, he's going to do it. Uh, he'll do anything you ask. Afterward, Holmes asked Sondland what President Trump thought of Ukraine. Ambassador Sondland stated that the president only cares about big stuff, big stuff that benefits the president, like the Biden investigation. Holmes, the latest witness to say he believes the president wanted those investigations in exchange for Ukraine's military aid and a White House visit. It was obvious what the president was pressing for. President Trump denies it, tweeting today that Democrats leading the impeachment inquiry are human scum. With the partisan divide only growing sharper, Fiona Hill warns this is just what Russia wants. Our nation is being torn apart. Truth is questioned. While the impeachment inquiry looks back, Hill urging lawmakers to look forward to guard against the same interference in 2020. So to recap, the Intelligence Committee is now working on a report and will continue to follow this hearing very closely as it moves forward. All right. Thank you, Scott. And don't forget, NBC News will have more coverage tonight. That will be with Lester Holt right after Eyewitness News at 6 here at 630.